This tutorial is part two of determining domains and ranges of equations using the graphical calculator. I have three new equations that I'm going to be working for with with this tutorial. One's the absolute value, one's a square root, and one's a cube root. Again, review, domain is the coverage along the x-axis, the range is the coverage along the y-axis. So we're going to go and graph the absolute value equation. Hit y equals, clear out the old one. Now as, I, as in the previous tutorial, the absolute value you graph by using the math function arrow over to num, select 1 for absolute value. Inside the absolute value I'm going to put x minus 2, close out the absolute value, and then I'm going to put a plus 3 and hit graph. Notice this is a v-shaped graph. Okay, again along the x-axis there are no breakpoints, so our domain is all real numbers. But along the y-axis the lowest bound or lowest point on the graph is plus 3 and the rest of the graph either goes it goes in the positive uh, direction. So our range on this example would be from 3 to positive infinity. Let's take a look at the square root function or equation. We're going to go ahead and graph that, hit y equals, clear out the old one, we're going to use the square root, so that's second x squared, plug in x, close out the parentheses and do a minus 3. Hit graph. Now notice this graph. The coverage of this graph, most of it's in quadrant 3, actually goes into uh, quadrant 4 and it goes into quadrant 1. But notice, the only coverage along the x-axis is in the positive side. So here's an example where our domain's restricted. Our domain's going to be everything greater than or equal to 0. Likewise, our range. Now our range, the low point of our range is going to be a minus 3. Okay, this keep, even though you don't notice it, this actually, even though it's not extreme, it's going to continually get larger and larger and larger. So my range is, the low bound of the range is a negative 3. The high bound is going to be positive infinity. So our range is going to go from negative 3 to positive infinity. Let's look at the cube root function. Now the cube root function we talked about in class, we're going to have to use the math function to graph that. I'm going to hit y equals, clear out the old one, hit the math button, okay, notice number 4 is the cube root. Select 4, we're just going to put the cube root of x, close the parentheses, hit graph. Notice, this is kind of like an inverted S shape. Okay, it's going on in continuously in the positive and negative direction, so my domain is going to be all real numbers. And even though, again, you don't notice it, the y value is continually getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger on both sides. So my range is also going to be all real numbers. This concludes the second tutorial on domains and ranges.